Hello and welcome to another update. My name is Nancy and these are my weekly little short updates of what I'm doing with our miniature horse Teddy. Teddy is now a year and uh, you're in almost five months old now and I'm working a little bit with him on things I would do if I took him in a halter class. Not sure yet how much I will show him but one of the first things I want him to learn to do is to what's called setting up where they're supposed to stand squarely on all four legs. They should be lined up nice and equally. Now in a halter class, you are allowed to pick up their feet and set them down to get them lined up right. Very similar to a dog show. So I thought I would do just a little bit each week so you can see how he's progressing. This will be my first day, my first day of working with this with Teddy. And I'm going to get my husband and have him make a little short video of how did Teddy does with me introducing this to him. Now, to start with, I'm not gonna expect him to be real square. I just want him to get the idea of standing still. I'll try to line him up a little bit, but it'll be interesting to see how he progresses week to week. Okay, so what I wanna start working with today with Teddy is just teaching him that if I take him in a holder class, you do what's setting up, where I'm going to want him to stop and stand still. This is for when the judge comes to look your horse or your pony or mini and he needs to learn to stand squarely meaning all four legs nice and square like the, the legs on a table and he's never done this before so this will be our first time and then we took, I want to for the next couple weeks I want to show you how he improves each week because I'm going to be practicing during the week but for today I'm just going to make him walk up a little walk I'm going to make him stop whoa Let's see if I can get out of the way here now, as you can see, his hind legs are all crooked, and I want him to move his hind legs first to line up and to square up. Now, in a halter class, you are allowed to pick the horse's feet up and set them down. Ah, ah. No, I don't want you stomping. But what I wanted to do is I want to back him up and get his hind legs more back. Okay. He did take one step back. The first thing I want him to do is back easily when I'm trying to turn him up. Stop. And right now, as a baby, he just wants to chew on this lead line. Okay, so I'll see if I can get him to, I want him to move this leg instead. Back, his left hind leg. Back, Teddy. Back. Okay. Well, he's not lined up very well. So I'm going to bring him forward. I'll bring him a little forward. Try it again. Okay, that's a little bit better. So I just want that right hind leg to move a little bit. Back. Back, Teddy. No, back. And as soon as he moves his leg, I'm going to gently tuck down so he stops. Now his front leg is a little bit off. I'm going to see if he'll pick it up if I just tap it with my foot. Okay, so I'm going to pick this up and set it down right about there. Okay, now that's not perfectly squared up, but this is a start for him. Stop. And as a young horse, he's only a year and five months old. He's still wanting to mouth everything. But I need him to stand still for when the judge would come. I'll practice standing this way, then in front of him. And I don't want him to move. I want him to stand quiet. And ah, ah. he needs to hold his head up. No, no, no. Keep your head straight. He's got to learn to look straight. No. He's got to learn to stand that way, and then I'll get in front of him again. Ah, ah. No, 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 no. And you can see he steps. So this is going to take a little time. I'll back him up a little bit. See if he'll bring that right foot forward. Okay, then I want to bring this down. He's not quite lined up in the back end, but again, this is just a start. Again, I'm going to stand here, get in front of him, and he stands. So we have a lot to do. He moved that foot, which I didn't want him to do. I'm going to try backing him some more. Back, 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 back. Then I'm going to bring him forward. Can he walk? Walk up. And again, his right hind leg is forward. I'm going to bring that back. And he's not quite, he's not quite, there we go. Back, back, back. And then I'm going to bring him forward. Walk. I didn't mean to say walk, I meant to say step. Well, he's still off. So I'm going to walk him forward. Turn him around. Try one more time. I'm not going to do too much every day. I'm just going to do a little bit every day. So he kind of gets the idea of this. He's still very young. They don't have a very long attention span. Whoa. No. He's not going to grasp right now. Whoa. Okay. See how... Oh. He really ended up terrible that time. Let's 
fluff a little bow. I fluff, fluff. Now, his front legs look really good. His hind feet aren't, they're kind of close together. But because he's fairly square, I'm going to stop. Tell him he's a good boy. I'm going to step in front of him. I'm going to step to the side of him. I'm going to step to the front of him. I'm going to come back to his side. And that was pretty good for him just starting. Again, he's not perfectly square. I'm not looking for him to be perfectly square yet. And the most important thing I want him to learn is to stand. So that's the start of this. And I thought I'd show you how we progress week to week. And there are different ways you can teach him to do this. Um, in fact, I may find another method that works better with him. I'm going to be experimenting around a little bit for now. He's very young. I'm just going to start off with this. We are supposed to possibly get a hurricane later in the week. I don't know how much we'll get done. I'm going to try to do a lot in the beginning of this week and then do another recording so you can see how he's doing. And when I tell him to stand, I like to lower my hand here. So he kind of lowers his head down. But if you'd like to follow this and you haven't subscribed yet, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and share with a friend. And hopefully we will see you next week. Hopefully the storm won't be too bad. Take care. Bye-bye for now. Mm -hmm.